folks, welcome back for another update. It's the 12th of the 11th, 2018, and this is the update on my hydroponics system and how everything is going. So, yeah, let's go and have a look. As you can see, a lot of growth going on, a lot of growth. So we'll start at the capsicum. Which is going quite well. Just starting to look like get a few flowers on it, I think. Yeah, just in there. Trying to get a few flowers. I'm looking good. The um, root system. See how the root system is going down that pipe. I need to clean all that out. Otherwise it will block up and it won't get my water through. So I'll have to do that after this video and get it all clean. And the cucumbers, as you can see, Getting a lot of flowers on them. Now hopefully I can show you that I've got cucumbers. Yep. There's one. Look at that little beauty. And there's another one. This one here is a little ripper. Look at the size of him. That's a cucumber. A really good cucumber. Who says you can't garden and grow vegetables while you're renting a property? This just proves that you can garden, rent, anywhere. You can do this anywhere. You can do it in a flat house unit. Anyway. And my lettuces have bounced back after the birds ate them. As you can see, starting to look good. Look at the root system on this one. Yep. Root system. Now, I don't change my water out in my system. I just have one big blue barrel down in there, full. Just keep topping it up, testing the water. Instead of changing it out. Now, I've had a little tragedy at one of my tomato plants. Not sure why, but in hydroponics it happens. It all happens in all gardening. Don't know why it's done it, but you know, that's life, it happens. And you get on with it. The rest of them, well, they're going absolutely fantastic, as you can see. Going really nice. Let's 
little right down the bottom. Okay. These ones are just in Dutch buckets, so I'm we'll throw it over there. Another one here. More fruit just there. This one here is going pretty good. This one's probably got the biggest tomatoes on it at the moment, as you can see. Really nice looking. It's me water reservoir at the moment. I'm going to get another blue barrel and put on the side here. A float in this one and have a top up barrel so I don't need to worry about the level of the water in it all the time. Once all this is set up properly, I'll be running a lot of plants, which means I'll be losing a lot of water. As you can see on this side, cucumbers. really good but, yep. I'm quite happy with that bar this end one I don't know why had that little mishap but you know it happens and you get on with it no use crying over it but yeah, it's all going great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the same tomato plants out of these buckets that I've got in the ground and you can see the difference. Okay, so these are the tomatoes that are in the ground. In the same punnet as the ones that I've got in the Dutch buckets. So there you have the difference. Absolute difference in growth. Fruit on there. I just sort of come to the conclusion that I'm not going to grow tomatoes or capsicums lettuce or that in the ground anymore it'll just be stuff like corn and that it's just yeah use less water less maintenance not just not worth it okay i'll go back and show you the ones in the buckets and you get the idea and there you have it the difference. So what I'm going to do is I've finished experimenting and I know I can grow stuff like this and this A-frame I'm going to start to build put these put that pipe will be another four pipes on this side and then I've got another two A-frames on the ground over here I'm going to put up and do the same with them and ramp up production for the house and I'm going to do about 25 Dutch buckets as well and I'll do a video on building the Dutch buckets and how I'm going to have it so you can all see That's the hydroponics part of my garden looked at. I'll show you the corn and I've got growing. And the corn's growing well. It doesn't get morning sun, it gets a lot of afternoon sun. There's not much I can do about that, as you can see. My garden doesn't really exist in this place. It's not much of a place to be gardening. 
Yeah. But, um, my asparagus came out the other day, so that's growing. Uh, absolutely growing. I don't know how to grow asparagus, but it's growing. So we'll see how they go. They reckon about two years before you can really pick a crop. I'm going to try and grow them in blue barrels and see how they go. So yeah, growing great. And my raspberry bush growing alright. I'm going to repot that this week, hopefully. And my tribes and parsley are growing alright. Yeah, it's all getting me. But I'm just going to grow everything in hydroponics now. I've experimented enough and learnt enough that I know I can do it, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, folks, we're going to leave it there for today, and I'll catch you next Sunday for another weekly update. Have a nice day. Be good, and I'll see you next week. Bye.